Hey guys, I'm back from my 18 week pregnancy vlog. Um, so far, what? Not, not a whole lot has changed, but I went to my doctor's appointment on Monday the 14th of last week, and uh, they said that uh, I was, I told them I was concerned about my weight, as I mentioned in my other video, and they said that it's normal for young girls of uh, skinny makeup and small bones and structured and stuff like that to not gain a lot of weight and my I talked to my cousin yesterday who was pregnant uh, almost two years ago two or three years ago said that she didn't really gain more than 25 pounds her whole pregnancy which is crazy some people can gain up to 40 pounds and be completely healthy so yeah the doctor said as long as I'm drinking a lot of fluids and stuff like that I should be okay and um, as far as eating just eat when I'm hungry not overdo it and that's how I gain too much weight or um, don't starve yourself obviously and take my prenatal vitamins as I've been doing and she also recommended um, a DHA pill which is just like an omega-3 sort of thing fish oil stuff like that um, I haven't, I felt hardly any baby movement at all from the um, prior week that I did in my video, but this week I am starting to feel more like pressure and sometimes like, it's really hard to explain. People ask me how it feels all the time. It's kind of like your stomach's going like this. <laughs> it's weird. It's not like a, a kick or like a sudden movement. It's just kind of like a churning fluttery feeling I don't know it's weird um I feel it's my stomach's a lot um firmer and there's a lot more pressure like it feels like I have to pee constantly and I mean I do to an extent but not as much as I feel like I do it's like I was explaining to my mom it's like this feeling where you have to pee really bad but you don't it's like I'm like I gotta pee I gotta pee so my mom would pull over and I'll go to the bathroom and be like Never mind. <laughs> it's frustrating, but she says we're getting a lot worse, which is great, but whatever. Um, I still have some sickness, but it's very few and far between. It's more like, okay, right before I made this video, I was like, oh, maybe I should make it. I kind of feel sick, but um, it's like I just woke up. It's 8.30 in the morning, and I ate breakfast right away. And I eat cereal, and I'm partially lactose intolerant, so that's probably, again, why. But I, uh, I use the Organic Milk Horizon, I think it's called. It has, uh, the Omega-3 in it, so it's less of a, ugh, milky taste. Um, I haven't had any cravings last week, but I do this week, very slightly. Um, I... Yesterday was at Walmart with my mom, and she was like, hey, do you want anything to drink? And I was like, yeah, for some reason, I just want iced coffee. I don't drink coffee. I don't like coffee. I like tea. And now when I woke up, I had a glass of um, Earl Grey hot tea. And then, um, which is new for me because I've never had that tea before, but my fiance says it's really good, so I tried it. And, yeah, it was good. And then I went to the store and I got the iced coffee. And I felt a lot better yesterday because of my caffeine. I feel like I'm having a caffeine withdrawal if I don't have a certain amount of caffeine. So with the caffeine and the sugar together, I felt great yesterday. No problems, no sickness, no crash, nothing. I felt phenomenal. Um, what else? Oh, my appetite. Um... I said last week that, you know, it's, I eat more than I did before, but I didn't eat a lot to begin with, but now I'm eating a little bit more each week, which is good, so I'm not overly concerned about my weight at this point. Um, if the doctors are saying I'm okay, obviously I'm going to trust them, but, um, yeah, I feel like I'll be okay as far as that. Um. Stress is another thing, so I've been kind of stressed out the last few days. Um, 
my boyfriend and I were like we're fighting sometimes because I think I'm hormonal and also because before I got pregnant I used to suffer from depression I used to be on medicine for it but that was a few years ago and I tried to get it off of it and I did so my counselor said before that it'll be a lot harder for me when I get pregnant because of my emotions and I have a hormonal imbalance called PMDD. It's actually a kind of a new thing that's been just been recently talked about the last few years. But um, I don't know. I feel like I'm doing okay now. I had like two days where I was just very distant and I didn't want to talk to anybody and I didn't want to be around anybody. So that was difficult. But we got through it, but the stress isn't that good for me because I was feeling a lot of pressure and a lot of cramps, which is not a good thing. So, one thing pregnant girls have to watch out for is stress because it's not good for you. Um, but I do, when I get stressed, I go for walks. I live on like the main street, so I go for walks a lot with me and my stepsister and my brother, sometimes by myself. Which is good, because that I feel like that helps. My energy levels have been up and down, mostly stable to decent normal for me, but usually um, I'm not super hyperactive or anything. But sometimes I, I wake up, I'm just like, I really don't want to move, I don't feel good, I just want to lay here all day. So, and like yesterday when I went to Walmart with my mom, I was, I was kind of tired. Like, the caffeine did good for me. I didn't really have a legitimate crash, but um, like not not like a caffeine crash, but like I don't not I don't always have a lot of energy to walk around Walmart or the mall or something like that. Um, my boobs have gotten really big, but that's just from start to finish, or start from to now, and mostly itchy because they're growing so they itch a lot um, and I got a question that uh, was asked through my inbox messages about gas yes gas is completely normal um, I started getting gassy within my first trimester and I feel like it's worse now but even with my miscarriage that I had, my I had a miscarriage in early June, like the second week of June. And um, I was only pregnant for a month, and I already was getting gassy. So um, that's very normal with pregnancy. If you watch other pregnancy vlogs, they'll tell you that. Um, I just make it known. <laughs> like... Because I've never really been big on the farting thing. Like, I never really get gas, ever. So, I, I'll tell people, like, not normal, like, random people, but, like, my family be like, I feel really gassy, this is crazy. But then my boyfriend, I'll tell him. He's like, that's cool, whatever. I don't know, it's weird. But, it is what it is. Your body goes through a lot of changes when you're pregnant, you know. So, your body... You have to get used to it, I guess. I don't know. I'm getting used to it. <laughs> getting used to being like, oh, my babes hurt. Oh, I'm gassy. You know, things you don't usually come out and say. But, um, that's about it. Oh, no, one more thing. I have my doctor's appointment on December 6th, which I'll, I'll probably be making, yeah, I'll be making another video before that. But, um, yeah, I have a um, doctor's appointment on December 6th to find out the gender. I think it's a girl. I did um, a cabbage test, which is not very popular, but if you search it on YouTube, it's um, cabbage water, red cabbage water. Test the pH balance of chemicals, household products, or whatever, and urine. So what you do is you take, you boil your cabbage for 10 minutes, and then you take the water and you put it in a cup. And then you pee in a cup and it has to be equal, like exactly equal. And then you mix them together and if it turns like a reddish color, you're having a boy. If it turns a purple color or stays the same color, it's a girl. But you're supposed to do it within like the first 10 weeks of your pregnancy. But I saw 
but some people did it 16 weeks, 17 weeks, and it was okay. So I think it's a girl also in my family. Um, if you start showing early, it's a boy, and if it's, you're, you get thick all over, you're having a girl. So my butt's gotten bigger, no offense to say weird stuff, but like, I don't know, it's weird. Like my tummy, it's thick, it's not like round, I don't know. And, um, so that's about it. I'll show you my belly. It's not really that much different. My parent, my mom thinks it is, and my sister, but I don't think it is. And, and then I'll wish you guys, um, happy Thanksgiving for whoever celebrates. Most people do, um, uh, Thanksgiving. I'm having family from Virginia come here tomorrow. They're here now, but they're at my grandparents' house in Maryland, and then they'll be here tomorrow morning. So, I'm going to have a full house. I'm going to have, like, let's see, my mom, my stepdad, my brother, me, my fiancé, and three of them. So, eight, seven or eight people living here. Oh, plus my stepsister. So, yeah, eight. Eight people living here for a week or so. So, that would be interesting. Okay, so I'll show you my belly real quick. Sorry about the lighting. It's like 8 o'clock in the morning and no one's awake yet in my house. On the side. I think it maybe has grown a little bit, but not a whole lot. Plus, I just ate, so that might be why, too. But, I don't know. So, if you have any questions, feel free to comment or message me. Um, I should get back to you in a few days. Uh, so, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.